Hi traders, this is Nena speaking and welcome to our weekly Forex recap. Today it's uh, 20, uh, July 23 and uh, we had a great week be behind us. We had a lot of uh, profitable trades and uh, last week setups uh, were very, very profitable. So I hope that you enjoyed profits and uh, of course don't need to remind you, but if you traded our uh, setups, you could see you could have seen that uh, the Australian dollar was again the trade of the week. And uh, I'm very, very happy for the previous week results. Also, guys, uh, today I will show you, as always, five different setups. Euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, dollar cat and the BDC dollar. But before I do that, I will show you previous week results and we will check how the price behaved after we finished with the webinar. So this is free weekly Forex recap. And for all of you who want to hear more signals, you need to subscribe to Elite Currency Live Service. It's called ECS Live Service. And if you do that, of course, uh, you will be receiving a lot more signals per day uh, because both Chris and I uh, actively send signals and trade management on our dedicated Telegram channel. So this is ECS Live Service and you can subscribe here. Okay, so for more signals, of course. Okay, so let's get back what we had for the previous week. Before we start, have in mind that CFD and Forex are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. So if you want to trade, please understand the full risk disclaimer. Have in mind that everything you see here is my personal opinion only, my setups and my Camarilla MACD trades. Trading rules give price a breathing room and always enter within 15 pips, okay, from the, the exact level. 15 pips is the buffer zone and we always enter in the zone. The zone is called point of confluence or POC. For Forex equities and commodities, you need to add the stop, the spread to your stop loss. It's very important. So please add the spread to your stop loss. We take only one position per listed pair. So it's either positional or alternative trade, whichever hits first. First touch of the zone is the most profitable. That is why we are focused on the first touch. Positional trades are trend trades. Alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades, scalp trade levels, if I give you, can be traded independently of any position. Also, these setups that you see here are valid for today, tomorrow, and occasionally the day after tomorrow. So it's early Wednesday. Scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. All these levels are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. At these levels to your system, pay attention to trends, so you might find other trend-based entries and the term that I use, pips pool, that is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on recap entries. These are results for the last week. Euro dollar positional sell was good for 90 pips. GBP dollar alternative buy was good for 25 pips. The Australian dollar was trade of the week and potentially you could have made 120 pips. Dollar yen also was very, very good for 90 pips. And of course, the BDC dollar, uh, the trade that we had, the only trade that we had with a loss was minus 100. So basically, if you traded uh, Forex, you could have made 320 pips. If you traded both uh, Bitcoin and uh, Forex pairs, you could have made 225 possible pips. The trade of the week, definitely the Australian dollar. So this is the euro dollar and this vertical line here, is always our time. So this is the time of the webinar. Everything that happens is basically the result if you traded it. So you see euro dollar, I said sell around 1740. Stop loss was 1780, TP 1650. And possible buy was 1640. Stop loss 1600, TP 1740. 
So I hope that you made some pips here because this was very, very obvious that the price exactly went into our favor. Uh, the trade of the week was not Euro dollar, it was a good trade, but uh, definitely, definitely, uh, it was one of the best pairs that we traded. And now, guys, I will also uh, use the opportunity to actually uh, call you for our uh, webinar, uh, seminar, sorry, in Slovenia. Okay, if you are ready to travel to Slovenia, okay, uh, in the Radisson Blue Hotel, we will have a financial, free financial trading seminar. You will have after party. We will be giving also handouts, some presents for you. You will see some indicators. So you can go to this web address. Okay. I will type it here. Okay. And of course, you can uh, get the ticket. It's free ticket for our uh great seminar i think this will be a great seminar because we really are organizing it to the maximum and i hope that you will be joining us if you're able to travel guys then just register and we will see you there of course okay let's get back gbp dollar okay so gbp dollar was mixed i said sell okay or buy the only thing that we could buy was here actually 3150 or lower if you went here, you would have made 25 possible pips. Uh, Gula is saying Euro dollar was definitely the trade of the week for me. By the way, when are you visiting us in Toronto, Canada? Well, uh, Gula, I would gladly come, uh, of course, uh, whenever we are ready. But the first thing is we need to organize a seminar there. And we don't know, you know, it's like we cannot organize it for ourselves. Uh, we need to get uh, invite from an organizer or we should find an organizer and then, you know, uh, someone who can organize it for us. And whenever it happens, you will be the first to know. So, you know, it's for us, it's a bit easier to organize seminars across Europe. This is our first seminar from Elite Currency. I did with Admiral Markets a lot of seminars, but this will be the first seminar with, with our Elite Currency and uh, basically, uh, it, it's easy to, to, to organize it, of course, in Europe, you know, like uh, Slovenia or Croatia or let's say Netherlands, Holland, uh, possibly Czech Republic and so on. You know, it's not the problem. But for, for Canada, across the sea, of course, we need to have an organizer. And of course, it, it will take a little bit more time. I, I got a lot of questions when we like come to Canada, to, to Australia, to the US, Miami. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, for the right moment. And I can promise whenever that happens, I will come for sure. And this is it, guys. Also, you look at this. How many times did I tell you last week that you should sell the Australian dollar? And for example, today, we also had a good trade for 35 pips uh, on our elite currency uh, live room. Uh, we, we, I'm actually selling rallies on the Australian dollar and uh, up to 7440 definitely did, that is the level and I think there are a lot of fresh buyers who are coming from 7440. We just need to close below 73 in order for the price to test 7250 and 72. If that happens, a door to 71 will be open. So, you know, it's it's a little bit it takes time because it's ranging market most of now, most of uh, July and uh, definitely it's bearish, but you know, it's, it's a slow market and it moves also with dollar weakness and dollar strength and Australian dollar weakness and strength. It's really uh, dependent on Australian trade balance on, on Chinese data on uh, housing Australian markets. And of course uh, the dollar strength or weakness. But it's good to trade, really. And I can recommend trading it also to newbie, novice traders. So you see what happened, guys. If you listen to what I had to say, and if you watch this setup and last webinar, you know that this was the way to go. So, so short here and bang, it dropped down, you see? So very, very good trade. And uh, I hope that you managed to grab some pips. The dollar yen also was good. Uh, 100 
12.10 okay so we could we could also go long at this spot and the price went up so again we had some nice uh, trades and the dollar yen was one of them and really really uh i think that dollar yen is also very good for trading even for new traders because mostly it's ranging but when it gets into a trend then usually the trend is strong uh, and the only trade that we had a loss is the BDC dollar. My default stop loss for CFD BDC trading is 100 pips. And uh, I would say that, of course, you trade it with low risk. Try to use 1% of risk with the BDC dollar CFD. And uh, this is basically where it caught us. It was a big spike to the upside. And there was no way that it could drop. So it was just proceeded up and this was a stop. So if you traded everything this is a possible result based on price movement after i gave you gave you the setups okay so now guys today euro dollar what did i put here yeah this is this is my typo guys wait i will correct this yeah this is not this is not correct because this is definitely a typo okay i will uh, correct it now so position buy so you want to buy here and sell there okay i think now it's okay this is euro dollar setup 1.1650 is the way to go for a buy trade guys Think that 1650 is a good level to go long. Stop loss 1620 TP 1810. But I will be looking to sell at 1810. Stop loss 1850 1750 is the TP. Okay, so this is Euro dollar. And according to my Camarilla MACD, it's retracing now. It's perfectly fine to see a retracement after this big spike. But guys, have in mind that this is the order block. And also, if it drops here, it is even better. So somewhere around 1650-65. So this is the area to watch for possible spike to the upside. I think that it could go down and then start to reject from this spot. So euro dollar obviously is bullish, right? Especially after this head and shoulders. But you see here, this was a counter trend possibility. And then it started to drop. I would try to go long around this spot. And of course, if we see a spike, 18, 10 guys, 8 in 10. Let me see. This is the level to watch. You see, in the past, there was a lot of, lot of rejections. We can go to daily time frame. See, this was a down move, a down move, a down move, then breakout. But there are sellers around 8 in 10. And also, here, guys, it's, you see, it's daily H4. If it breaks it, I think it will go there. But there we have a lot of sellers and weekly H4, great resistance. So 8 in 10 is a good level to sell. For buy, I would wait for a retracement, 1650, around 1650. Okay, now next one. The GBP dollar. Again, the GBP dollar is mixed. 3220 is sell, 3250 is stop, TP is 3040. Buy trade could come at 3040, stop loss 3010, and target price is 3150. So 3220 is a possible sell.
Okay, so if the price gets a little bit higher, weekly H3, trend line, ATR projection, this is the level to go short. But also this could drop and we can go for a buy trade. So this is a good level, 30, 40, 30, 50 to go long. This is very mixed now because the price is generally bearish, but it has its big moments like this to go up 150 pips instantly. And then you see the price is getting back into its main trend. So I would go for a sell here and for a buy there. Of course, I have never, I, I have changed nothing regarding the Australian dollar simply because I'm selling rallies on Australian dollar. And I think that the Australian dollar still has the possibility to go below 73, but it needs to touch 73.20 first. So for me, the Australian dollar is preferred a sell. 74.40 sell stop, 75.20 TP, 73.20. Alternative buy, 73.20 stop, 73.00 and TP, 73.90. The Australian dollar, guys, is very bearish. You see 74.40. And I think, again, a lot of, lot of, this is basically trend line fan here. When you see a trend line fan, you know that there is a lot of resistance or support depending on the direction. Here, in this case, definitely a lot of resistance here because of this trend line fan. See, a lot of resistance. So I think the Australian dollar is good to be sold on rallies. And if it happens, 73.20 could be a possible buy here. Okay, we have a trend line, we have a lower band close to L4. So if it drops, this is the way to try to counter trend. Yeah, a lot of trend lines. This is it. Watch this. You can go to daily time frame here. Watch this. Yeah, I call it a trend line fan because it looks like a fan. You see? Wait, you see, it looks like a fan. So a lot of resistance. So we definitely, I think could sold it again, could sell it again, sorry. But uh, I'm not sure it needs to break now this trend line here in order to proceed further down. So now it's congestion, but I, if it doesn't spike above, it will definitely go more to the downside. So yeah, I'm selling rallies on the Australian dollar. And if you want to go long, this is the level to go long, but it will definitely be a counter trend trade. Lower band, trend line, away below the ATR projection. Yeah. Kusuik is asking, is they, if daily Camarilla pivot is above weekly and monthly pivot then the price is in uptrend yes daily pivot needs to be above weekly and monthly here we have daily between weekly and monthly so it's always like that on mondays uh, the price is ranging tomorrow we'll probably see camera trend because daily pivot will be moved either above or below weekly and monthly pivot okay next one is the dollar cat Sell 32.20, stop 32.60, TP 31.50, potential buy 31.20, stop loss 30.90, TP 32.20. So the dollar cat, I think, is going up now because you see this was a counter trend move here. Camarilla make the counter trend here and inverted head and shoulders, break of trend line, price is going up. It could stop here, but I would be looking to sell here, guys, around 30 to 20, 30. This is a level to go short. The zone here. I think this is also a good zone, but I think this is even better zone here to go short. So looking for shorts, if, if it gets there, if it drops, then I think it could be good for a long trade. And finally, the BDC dollar, 
The BTC dollar is in uptrend, potential buy 75.20, stop is 74.20, TP 80.30, sell is 80.30, stop 81.30, TP 77.50. Okay, so also watch for the BTC guys. Sorry, the BTC here. A lot of, lot of trading accounts. Really, I need to monitor price action here. Yeah, this is it. See, I'm telling you, it, it's trying to go up. Watch for this level. This is better for shorts, in my opinion. Then, because this will be head and shoulders if it gets there. Close to head and shoulders. Uh, what was the, what was the, yeah, the BDC dollar. That was the last uh, market for today. Then I will roll the slides and you can ask me questions. It should be here. Let me see symbols. Yeah, of course. This is it, guys. You see? Big spike, big uptrend. Potential buy and potential sell. 75, 20, 80, 30. 75 20 okay 80 30 80 30 is here i will open for hour i would say somewhere around this zone 80 30 80 80 good level to sell watch this But be careful, guys, because the BDC dollar is very fast. And yeah, 75.20 is a buy, okay? 75.20. If you go to one hour, this is possible buy. You can see here daily H4 retest of daily H4 at potential long trade. Now, guys, I will roll the slides and you can ask questions. Okay. I will reply. Uh, Elmo is asking about DAX. Bullet is asking about dollar, yen, and gold. Okay. Ignacio is asking about GBP New Zealand and Marianne is asking about Euro Australian dollar. Okay. I will first roll the slides. Okay. Let me show the screen. So this is it. Euro dollar. GBP dollar, the Australian dollar, dollar CAD, and the Bitcoin dollar. Okay, now DAX, the first question, Elmo, about DAX. Okay. Give me a few seconds. Okay, Mel's. Wait, I want to put few things more here. Okay, it's there. Dex should be here. But I'm not seeing it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Bullish market. Definitely bullish market. Watch this. Bullish market and up. 
I would say you should have gone long already if you want to go if you want to go long somewhere here. So your long should happen here because I think this could go up. Of course, this is resistance. So for further upside, it needs to break this resistance. But definitely, this was a signal for a long, at, at least according to Camarilla MACD. Here, a long trade, the price went up, dropped, now it's going up. So you should have already gone. I think this will go up. Only below this level, it will go down. But now it looks like it's going up. Uh, dollar yen making a counter trend move today. I was watching it, wanted to trade it, but I was a little bit late. You see a counter trend move here, according to Camarilla MACD. I was going to announce it on our Telegram channel, but I already had a Australian dollar short and I missed the move. So yeah, if it breaks this trend line, it could go here. This is a good confluence spot. See, there and the middle line will drop. So around 112, I think it will go up here. And weekly H3, a lot of confluence here. Uh, gold, okay, let's see the gold. I will, I think I, yeah, I, we can do it like this. Or let's try to go with gold directly. Symbols, metals, XAU, USD. It's already there here. Yeah, break of trend line. Gold is breaking the trend line. Uh, I think it can go here, 1214, and then it could spike. If it closes below 1222, it could go down. So this is the break of trend line on one hour and the break of trend line on four hours. So yes, it could drop even more. And that also signifies a bearish market, uh, a bearish euro dollar. So euro dollar is going down. So we could buy it a little bit later. Okay. Uh, next question: the GBP New Zealand. This is the GBP New Zealand ranging market. Basically, you see, this is the range. There was some bullish initiative here bullish move from the middle band but definitely this is ranging nothing nothing big compared to its normal atr that is big La, uh, the atr 14 is 144 now it has only 72 pips so it's only 50 percent of its atr it's going over it looks like it could go up and i might see a possible short here but it looks like it could go up or reject from this spot. It's very, very unclear for me. Nothing tradable, definitely. Uh, Uncle Sam is saying, hi, then a long time not here, but it's great to be here again. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Sam. Yeah, looking really forward to seeing a lot of members from Admiral who followed me on Admiral Markets webinars here. So yeah. Thank you. So uh, the analysis GBPN, and then I will go to Euro dollar to sorry Euro Australian dollar. So GBPN, you see the trend line holding it in place. Yeah, this looks very bearish to me. This looks like a bearish zigzag. Yes, zigzag bearish. I would go short here or there. Definitely bearish. Eventually, if it gets there, you could see maybe a substantial retracement, but this is bearish. Uh, Euro Australian dollar. Okay. Can we see inverted uh, head and shoulders? Yes. Big inverted head and shoulders. Today we had Chris sent a SWOT setup, very good Euro Australian dollar trade. And uh, I think it was like 50 pips. So yes, head and shoulders bullish. 
Let me just check daily. Yeah, definitely bullish. And this is also bullish. You see, if it breaks this trend line, it should go more to the upside. Yeah, standard deviation for the four hour bands 2.0. Indeed, standard Bollinger band settings. I'm not experimenting with Bollinger band. They are fine by default. So guys, this was it. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any question, you can ask me. But I think I was very clear. Clear setups, always prefect, always straight to the point, clear entry, stop loss, target price. And uh, yeah, I have, I am developing my own indicator for trend lines and it will be available for some of our ECS live members, yes. Uh, this is our automated trend lines, but I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm developing my own indicator. So you will be, guys, you will know when I finish it. And for, of course, live members, it will be free. And guys, that was it, basically. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that we will make more pips and that we will have a wonderful week as we had uh, like last week and that we will be profitable also till the end of the month and till the end of summer, of course, uh, before September, because this is my first summer that I trade. I'm really enjoying it, guys. Uh, the last question, Pasini is asking, can you update the ECS live result sheet? Yes, I will do. Uh, I, I didn't up update my 35 pip win on the Australian dollar, but I will do it right away. Thank you guys for listening. I will talk to you soon. As always, guys, cheers and great save.